Hello, my friends. Today, we're going to take a look at how to harness the power of GPT for scheduling. I'm going to show you how you can use GPT to give you some ideas and how you can couple that with Smartsheet. So let's jump straight into our GPT. And right here, I'm going to type in a few commands. I'm just going to ask it, create an activity list for a community celebration in PA to different heritages. Uh, make it a 20 line long schedule minimum and include the following team members. And I'll say, put this in tabular format. Uh, include a column for resources, uh, one for duration, and one for dependencies using one, two, three. So I want you to just take a look at the enormity of content that I am asking this thing to absorb, right? Don't hold back when you're working with GPT, it's up to the task. Now just take a look at the intelligence of the tool doing everything I asked it to do. Heavy lifting has been done for me. All I need to do is copy, I can actually copy everything. It's going to Excel and just control V it, okay? And spread it out so that you can see everything that you've got. So I'm just gonna grab my activities first, and then I'm going into Smartsheet, create a new sheet. So let's click on the plus, let's go to Gantt, call this uh, the Carnival Project and okay. And all I do is paste it in, boom, paste it in, right? Do the same for my team members who are assigned to each thing. Smartsheet is just taking what GPT has done and it's all aligning. See, in terms of the duration, it's suggesting hours. I'm going to take that. I'm going to put it in here. And there, this tool is so smart, it knows the hours. In terms of the dependencies, just to give you some context, let me go back to the dependencies. These are the dependencies, right? I'm just gonna take the dependencies. It's so clever that it knows this is line one and it knows line two is dependent on line one. Gonna take all this stuff, go back into Smartsheet and just paste it in. As far as the storytelling sessions about heritage, it does not have any dependency, but we don't yet have anything appearing in the Gantt because I need to put in a start. So I'm gonna put in a start. Let's say it's happening on Saturday, put in a Saturday like that, boom. Let me actually make these days. So if I make these days, two, two, one, 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 two, two, one, one, two, two. Uh, it's, it's a little bit clearer now. And you can see this Gantt chart is not conventional because uh, the dependencies are not one, two, three, four, all the way down. And that's okay. This is reality, right? This is what GPT gave us. So it's pretty cool in that you don't have to do as much thinking. If you take a look at all of the activities, cultural food tasting, uh, yeah, we do need the booth set up, but we, we don't need to go in this direction. We could do cultural games and activities after the booths and so on have been set up. Uh, music and entertainment, uh, well, people generally wanna eat first, right? Before the music and entertainment, so they don't run out of gas. Uh, ethnic fashion show is dependent on three and four. So in parades of cultures, it makes sense. So GPT didn't just spit stuff out as an afterthought. This actually does make sense from a logic perspective, okay? And that's how you can use the power of GPT with a Smartsheet. 
or even any other scheduling tool. Okay, and that completes our video. Thank you. And uh, for those of you that haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you do that and hit the like button and subscribe. This is an excerpt from our Applied Project Management class.